Hey everybody, welcome back. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Alright, let's go. So I just took a 14 hour total road trip with Tiny, seven hours there, seven hours back, just by myself, and I was thinking about how clutch our diaper bag has been for this entire thing. So I thought this week we would do a what's in my diaper bag road trip edition. So I'm all about traveling light, I'm not about bringing a bunch of stuff that I don't think I'm going to use, but since this was a road trip, there is a lot more stuff in the diaper bag than I normally put in there on a day to day basis. First thing you'll notice is our diaper bag is actually a backpack. I got it off of Amazon, I'll put the link to it in the description box below. Another mom recommended that I get a backpack when I was making my registry instead of like a nice purse looking thing and I totally see why. My biggest pet peeve is having a purse or a bag on your shoulder and it's constantly falling off and I definitely don't like that happening especially when I'm holding a baby. So it's actually great having this just like on my back and then I'm able to have the diaper bag and then also have two arms free for the baby. The other good thing is that carrying a diaper bag is not just a mom thing, it can also be a dad thing. So this one being like very unisex and orange uh, is fine for Mike to carry, and although I don't think he would be above carrying a purse like diaper bag if he needed to because he just likes to help. The other cool thing is I can put I can put the baby in the carrier and carry the baby and I'll also have the backpack on my back and still have two hands free. This diaper bag has a lot of pockets and it actually came with a changing pad which is my favorite part which you'll see in the back here. It's in this cute little slot um, and then you can open it up. I put it on changing tables, on the ground, anywhere that I have to change the baby so he's always on the same surface and not picking up any gross germs. The other thing that I'm all about is having all the things that you need, like emergency stuff, really easily accessible. So for me, the purpose of the diaper bag obviously is to carry the diapers. So the diapers are in this front pocket right here. And like I said, when we go places, we use disposable diapers. And then also in the front, very easily accessible, um, is the diaper butt balm and the wipes. In this pocket, I have tiny spoons. You can see the spoons. His bottle system. Usually when I travel, I try to keep like a defrosted bag of milk because then when we're driving, especially if there's two of us, we don't have to stop the car to feed him. Um, I can just uh, jump in the back with him and then feed him with a bottle and then I can keep driving. Although this time it didn't make sense to do that because I was by myself. Here I have this defrosted bag of milk. These are really cool. I love this system. I can put a link to it in the description box below also. Basically it slides in like this and then just clicks in and then you can take this cover off and then the nipple just pushes right on and then you have a bottle and you don't have to clean it. All you have to do is clean the nipple because it's actually the storage bag. I also have bibs, just a couple bibs because he is messy. Now if we go into the actual diaper bag, I like to bring his toiletry kit. I can show you what's in here. There is a snot sucker. It's a little smaller version, so I kind of like it for travel. He's got a brush, a comb, they're so cute. Uh, safety scissors. I usually cut his fingernails with this. A nail clipper. A little toothbrush which we don't use yet because he doesn't have any teeth. And a couple nail files. Then I go into this inside pocket right here. And here I keep hand sanitizer for myself. Um, in case we have to stop on the side of the road and change a dirty diaper and there is no bathroom for me to wash my hands, this definitely comes in handy. Some baby lotion and shampoo. And these things, which actually are meant for pacifiers, you like attach one end to the pacifier and then you attach the other end to his shirt but I've been using them for his toys because when we go to restaurants or something, he likes to take them and throw them and I just don't feel like having to clean them every single time they hit the ground. So I attach his toys to his shirt so that when he throws them, they're still just attached to his shirt. So now we're going further into the bag. See, he has a lot of pockets and stuff. And then here's where I keep a lot of his like easily packable toys. A little clacker slash rattle. This is his favorite. Um, and it's, I love it because you can just you know, take the rings off and put them in any kind of pattern you want or put them all together. He really likes this one and it rattles. 
But what he also likes to do with it is throw it. So this is the one I attached to his shirt. A little tambourine. And actually this came in handy because he was just getting tired of sitting in the car like doing nothing for seven hours. At around hour five he just started like having a meltdown. And so I was driving but I was able to grab this and shake it at him in the rear view mirror uh, for 30 minutes until he calmed down. And then the other easily packable mirror which keeps him entertained honestly forever. I don't know why this is so exciting for babies but they love it. And then also what I keep in here are his sunglasses in case we go somewhere that's really sunny and his ear protection. These are baby bands. They are awesome. I keep these in the diaper bag now because recently we just went to a wedding and I did not think about how loud everything would be at the reception, which was very silly of me. We kept trying to put him down for his nap and he wouldn't do it because it was just like a party and it was very loud. He fell asleep in his car seat at some point and then really loud music came on and he woke up again so it was just like a, not a good time. Now I just keep these in the diaper bag all the time in case there is something happening very loudly um, and we need to protect his little ears. So very cute. So this next pocket, uh, this back pocket here, I keep his extra clothes in a plastic bag. I like to label them because when they're clean, I don't want any of the crap to get on them, so that's why I put all this stuff in a plastic bag. Usually I have two shirts, a pair of pants, and a pair of socks. I have a wet bag, which I use to put all his dirty or soiled clothes into if he happens to soil them. And also a shirt, an extra shirt for myself, which is just very plain, a plain gray shirt, but I picked this one to keep as my extra shirt because I think it kind of works for any outfit and location. Say we were somewhere like a little bit fancier, this shirt is plain and gray, so hopefully I don't stick out too much. In the side pocket, I actually keep my cell phone. I don't carry a purse anymore because it's just too much stuff to carry and I really hate carrying a lot of stuff. And so I have my phone here. It has a little clip for all my cards and stuff. And that's it. That's what's in my diaper bag. Thanks for watching. Hope that helped you guys. I'm going to put the links to everything I talked about in the description box below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Wednesday. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Alright, it's been real. See you next week. Bye-bye.